Hello, everybody. Um, I want to thank you for even opening up my email. And if you are interested in joining in on the video montage um, below, I will have an example of what kind of what I'm trying to do. It's a rough draft of one of my examples. I use this site, the sense of sight and um, what I see and what Tilden means to me. Um, feel free to to go with it, whatever you want to do. Um, if when you do record your video, if you could have your head off to one side or you could do it the, the other side, whatever works. Um, mostly because if you want to put any details in your email of your name, your relationship to my dad, maybe how long you guys have known each other, I can add that to the video next to you and not have to block your face or anything like that. That would be super helpful. Um, so go have fun, say whatever you'd like to say. Feel free to bring in the senses, the smell, the sight, the feelings of things. Um, the sounds of things, whatever you'd like. I think it would add a really cool touch to the video. Thank you all for your help. The sooner I get it, the more time I have to splice everything up and make it awesome for my dad. All right, take care, bye. What does Tilden mean to me? Tilden's my home. It's where I'm rooted at. No matter where I am in life or where I'm living, Tilden is still my home. And it's that Park District leaf, the logo, that's been a part of my life for the last, my whole life, because my dad started with the Park District when I was one years old, and now I'm 31, and that's all I know. And it's on everything. We have it on our calendars in our home. It's on our t-shirts. It's on our notebooks. It's on my dad's awards. It's on his old uniforms that I still have. It's on his old belt buckle. That Park District Leaf is everywhere. And I love now after 30 years, this district has grown extremely large and it's still growing. I mean, it's on, it's on the trail signs as these trails go in and out of our cities and our towns that connect us all together. That, that Park District Leaf is on Vasco Road as we're preserving new land every day. So when I see that, that Park District Leaf, I, it reminds me of my home, Tilden. The special thing about me and my dad and our relationship with Tilden is that I got to go to work with him every day. I got to watch his routine. I got to learn, learn yeah. See, the special thing with me and my dad, uh, I learned life lessons through experience with my dad. I was lucky enough to be able to watch him work day in and day out for years. He didn't have to come home and teach me his life lessons. I got to be there with him through it all. Learn his work ethic. I got to learn his dedication. I got to learn his skill set, survival skills, all of it from feeding the farm animals, animals to milking the goat to walking the boardwalk when it's flooded. It was the sound of my kid. My... It was the sound of my dad's work keys dangling from his belt. I could always hear him. I always knew where he was at and I always knew when he was close to me in the nature area. And as a kid, when I heard those keys jingle as he walked through the office or he walked down the trails, I kind of knew my dad was important. 
He was the only employee at Tilden Nature Area that had that many keys. He could get into every gate that we wanted to get into. And that's what my dad means to me. Happy retirement, Dad. We're closing a chapter, um, a chapter that's been a part of our whole lives. <laughs> And I, I can't thank you enough. If I bring in Tilden into my life. Hey Mark, here's just a quick video for you. You can kind of get an idea of how Ohio looks. These are the woods behind my house. It's very cold here right now. <laughs> um, this is usually where I go walking around, uh, but this is what it looks like. It's pretty bare. Everything kind of turns. It almost looks like it's all dead, but I don't know. It's probably about 20 degrees right now. So here is what it all looks like. It's very different than Tilden. Kind of missing Tilden right now and every other kind of, uh, I guess, environment that doesn't feel like this. <laughs> but yeah, here's a good look you can get. I don't know if the camera really gets all of it that well, but pretty, pretty barren. Um, a lot of times we'll see deer back here and sometimes the occasional red fox will pop up, but it's pretty cool that we get this right behind, this is right behind my uh, apartment complex. So that's that, and uh, yeah. Unfortunately, there's nothing around right now. There's a couple birds. Sometimes you'll see a, um, I forget the name of it, but there's a giant, there's a giant woodpecker that is pretty common. And if I remember it, I'll send Aussie the name of it. But yeah, this is the, uh, what we got right now. Good thing it's not that much snow, but. <laughs> All right, love you, brother. Have a good one, bye. Hi, everyone. I'm Mark's wife. Hi, honey. Uh, I just wanted to do a short little video. Uh, I know it's hard to believe that we're at this juncture in your life that uh, you're retiring and the years have gone by very quickly, too quickly. And I know this is a hard decision for you in a lot of aspects. You put your heart and soul into this park and um, it shows you can just walk through the park and see all the things that you've done and accomplished and they'll always be there for others to enjoy for years to come and now it's time to move on to a new chapter in our lives and um, which will involve a lot of traveling um, so uh, I just wanted to say how much I love you and how proud I am of the man you are of the person you are and um, enjoy your evening and we'll get started on some new memories. Love you. Hello, I'm Geneva, I'm Mark's mother-in-law. Mark, you have two of God's greatest gifts. He led you to be a park ranger at Tilden for all these years and leading you through Pastor Jeff to my daughter Debbie as your wife to love each other for a lifetime. Both are a perfect fit. You, your footprints will be, will be all over Tilden Park forever. And we will always be walking in your footsteps every time we visit there, remembering you. Know this, Mark, we all love you much. I want to add if my husband Bill were here, he would say the same. He loved helping you with the butterfly garden. 
hand making the wrought iron gazebo and the butterfly on top. Enjoy your evening. You deserve it. Happy retirement. Happy trails. Try to move your bunny a little bit so we can see your face. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Right next to you. Yeah. Um, and what this... did it feel like when all that fire was on your hands? Do you remember that? It felt like soap. What else? What did it, what did it look like? Here? It was like, it was clear. Do you remember and that day a little bit more now? Yeah. Yeah. So I was thinking you could tell the story like, I found this slug at Tilden, and I wanted it to be my pet, so I held it for a really, really long time while we were all hiking around. And then I realized all the slime on my hands <laughs> that the slug left. And then your grandpa Mark helped you clean it up, huh? So. Let's tell that story. I had all, of, I holded my pet for so long and that pet, I looked down and my hands were covered in slime and my grandpa helped me get it off. Uh, let's see. Remember that other um, time when I picked the slug off the ground? Mm -hmm. There's been a few times. At Tilden? Yeah. The first time we went to Tilden? Yeah. And you held it up and mm -hmm. the picture of you and there's a map in your other hand? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I remember that. Too. And when I was walking on a trail in Tilden and I found this little slug covered in leaves. Also with nature on it. With nature all over it, on the slime, where the slime is all underneath it. So, and it was so crazy, so crazy. And it was like, I don't know what to say, really. <laughs> so, um, are we asking more questions? Just let me know if you're like, I don't know what to say, ask me more questions. Okay. Um, maybe you can talk about what Mark means to you. So, for example, we, when we found the jawbone of the deer, and the first thing you said was, I can't wait to show this to Mark. And so I realized that I think Mark's super important to you as far as you can talk to him about nature. Like, Can we pause this one? It's just all going to, I'm going to, I'm going to kind of chop it up a little bit and take out this stuff. So. Can you take out um this yeah. part? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm going to take out, yeah. I'm going to save just the story parts. Um, yeah. So, but do you remember, and so I yep. feel like you really like that you have Mark that you can talk to and ask questions to about the money. And I liked that Mark helped me figure out what that bone mm -hmm. was. Mm -hmm. And I was happy that he helped me know what it is. And that's awesome. So I really like that about him. So, and that he let me do a day um, where I could dance around with the baby pigs, you know? And it was so cool. But when I did that little Tilden thing, remember when I was walking it was around? It a little farm day with the little toddler. Yeah, <laughs> with the little toddler. But I missed my parents that time, so I don't really want to do it again. We were right there watching you. We were just kind of like around the corner. Do you remember trying to catch chickens in the farm? Yeah. Right here. And we collected eggs and we got to pet the bunny. It was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And Eeps with the roof was covered, covered in spider webs. Covered in spider webs. It's like spider, spider, spider everywhere. Everywhere. And I can't wait, one day we can walk down that trail on the left side and go walk in that little garden area where the where he made the fairy garden and the bees. It was pretty cool. Um, you can also say happy retirement. So retirement means that he doesn't have to work anymore. So he was like my on grand, vacation. My grandma. Yes. Uh, retired. Yes, exactly. And see how they can come visit us for like a week and stuff because mm -hmm. they're retired. So my dad, 
um, we'll have a lot more time to come visit us. So, like, is there anything that you're excited about once he retires? Like, do you think there'll be more backpacking trips? Or is there anything else that you'd want to do with Grandpa Mark? I think he'll have more time to spend with us. Yeah. Is there anything special that you want to do with Grandpa Mark, though? Do more backpacking trips and more camping. Yeah. So happy retirement. Happy retirement. And I'm excited to do. I wonder what it's going to be like. I never went to a retirement party. That's true. <laughs> and I haven't been on a lot of trails at, you know, Tilden. But we'll keep doing some more. And so it makes me happy to be there again and explore more. Can you just say that? Just say his name really quick. Just say Mark. Mark. <laughs> Do you remember how you used to say you? Yeah. Mark. Say it like like. What if he was walking up here and you wanted to, you wanted to yell his name? What would you say? Mark. Mark. <laughs> Good. I used to. Yeah, stay over on that side. Yeah. Perfect. Um, I like that Mark lets me do what I want to do on the farm, and it's very special to me. It means so much to me. Hi, Mark. It's Jessica and Ben from Ohio. Just wanted to say hello. We're not going to say our goodbyes because we expect that you're going to have all this free time. You're going to want to travel. I'm sure you're going to want to come visit us. And hello to your new adventure, which is retirement. It's fabulous. Um, what does Tilden mean to me? Tilden is the beginning of my career with the Park District. And as I was hired on, uh, Mark, you were one of the first folks that I met. Um, we fast became friends work together all the time. Tilden is really near and dear to me. It's kind of a home, home away from home. Loved being in the barn, working at the farm, um, especially loved working outside. We did a lot of work in Wildcat Creek. I'll never forget that. And um, the butterfly garden, of course, really coming up with ideas with you, um, watching you implement them and create something fantastic. So gonna love all of that I always remember Tilden fondly those are the special memories and times you really made it what it is you made it a success and congratulations to you on your retirement bye-bye hey Mark this is what happens when you retire you fill your life with the things that you love and just every day is a new adventure um, I got to move to a space where I can keep all of my animals near me, near and dear. That's my horse, Holly. And of course, no farm's complete without a goat. And here's my other horse, Jumper. And you see, it just, it just gets better and better. Pilgrim's back there somewhere. There she is. Anyway, just wanted to let you know, it's the beginning of your adventure. So you make it what it is. All right. We love you. Bye. You ready? Yeah. Hi, Mark. It's like bringing you greetings from sunny Ohio. I hope you like retirement because Jessica and I really, really do. Good luck with yours. Mark, I am so very proud of you and all you stand for watching you grow up and always being there. Dad would be very proud also of your career choice and for your love of the out of doors with my love mom hi mark congratulations on reaching this important stage in your life your retirement and i wish you the best for happiness in your next phase of your life i'm fortunate and to live only a mile and a half from the tilden nature area and in good weather, which is most of the year, I can run there and, and I pretty much, uh, when it's not raining, I'm running pretty much every day. I uh, 
really have appreciated the park and and what I've seen over that time when you're there in, early in the morning you usually see quite a lot I've seen a fox I've seen on more than one occasion bobcats and coyotes and um, I also bird there frequently uh, because of the wild variation in habitat we have a lot of wild birds and that's a, that's a wonderful thing, and I really love the Tilden Nature area. Mark, I've seen you work tirelessly to conserve and maintain the Tilden Nature area. I recall standing uh, behind a railing watching you work with another park user, and we were discussing how hard you were working and what a great return on the taxpayer's investment in paying your salary and benefits. You were always a resource because you were out and about. So you would take time to stop and talk to park users like me and and answer questions and and being accessible like that. Um, you answered the whole range of the questions and it was quite clear you were networking with the rest of the staff about what had been seen recently or what future parks projects were coming up. And uh, that was wonderful to have that interaction with you. Um, it was obvious to me throughout all of our interactions, Mark, over the years that you were always aware of the value of the Tilden Nature area and took a very personal responsibility for maintaining it and conserving it and protecting it. Um, you seemed happiest, actually, when you were working hard and you were doing it so often that when I, in my observation, uh, one time I was stopped in front of a rail with another park user and we were commenting what great value the taxpayer was getting out of the money spent on your salary and benefits. You provide a great exemplar for what a future park ranger should do and be. And, that, and in that way, you have also contributed to the longer life of the Tilden Nature area. Have fun in your retirement, Mark. Congratulations to you, Uncle Mark, spending 32 years at one job where you were lucky enough to enjoy the outdoors, working with your hands, and creating a park that people can enjoy today and for years to come. We love you so much and we are so proud of you. Mark, congratulations on an amazing career and best wishes on this new journey called retirement. You leave Tilden Park a better place for future generations. Hi Mark, it's your sister Debbie and my husband Mike. We're here to congratulate you on your retirement and for 32 years working in Tilden Nature area. This is quite an accomplishment and we're so proud of you. Good job. Our family has had many great memories of the nature area and animal farm that you work at. We've had fun visiting the animal farm with our kids when they were younger and we've enjoyed the tours you've taken us on to see the nature areas and the many projects that you have done. Tilden Park in general is a very special place for our family since we've had many family reunion picnics there. Also in the, na the, nature, the, the nature area we have a tree planted in memory of our late father Raymond. So finally we get to celebrate with some bubbly. <laughs> for a job well done for 32 years. Good. <laughs> a friend once described retirement as six Saturdays and a Sunday. Cheers, Cheers to you, Mark. Happy retirement. <laughs> Volume types, as you can see. Volume three, you want me to go away? <laughs> so what does Tilden mean to me? Tilden is still new to me. Um, I've only been there a few times and um, every time I go there though I get to see something new that you've done and built yourself. And it makes the park just a beautiful place to go and visit. Um, <laughs> the
something I remember the most about So one of the best experiences I've had to date with Mark would have to be the time when Mark came and had a ranger day at um, my daughter's daycare. And I thought it was so special because <laughs> some of those kids are so hard to tame. And Mark had every single one of them captivated the whole time he was there with all of his presentations and all of the knowledge that he brought from Tilden um, up to the Sierras and uh, just shared it with the kids and, and the kids ate it up. And um, he brought in different demonstrations and um, it was just <laughs> great seeing the kids light up. So that I think is the one story that has stuck with me the most. Um, since meeting Mark and yeah it's all because of his experience at Tilden so anyway Mark I hope you have a wonderful retirement I look forward to it <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful retirement. Um, yeah, now you have no excuse not to come fishing with me. <laughs> Cheers. I'll see you around. Mark, I hope you have a wonderful retirement. I look forward to spending more time. Uh... <laughs> Hey, uh, Nick, could you uh, Google some images of hard workers for me? Yeah, no problem. So, uh, what's the first one that pops up? This one. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> and look where we are. The sign says, Park Ranger. And there's Mark's desk. Who's oh. at Mark's desk? Take it over, Mark. I'm coming for your job. Future Park Ranger. Are you kidding me? This is rubbish! <laughs> rubbish! <laughs> and Future Farmer of America. <laughs> One more cow, please! Hey Nick, looks like you're working hard over there. <laughs> Not as hard as Mark Hurts. Over 30 years he's been here, making this place run beautifully. Are we on? You're on. We're on track already? Well, it's been a very pleasant 20 years. It's whizzed by in no time at all. And I'm sure you're going to have a great retirement. Just think of us slaving away while you're on the Costa del Fortune somewhere, having a good time. So, Mark, we're all really going to miss you. But I think that we don't even know how much we're going to miss you until you're gone. Because you go out into the park, you just come to work. And then you go out there and then you just create all these beautiful things that we enjoy and we don't even think about it. So we're going to miss you. We're going to miss your work ethic. We're going to miss your skills and we're going to miss your dedication to this park. But we hope you, you have a great retirement and we wish all the best to you and all your family. Have a great one. Mark, I just have one thing to say to you. Retirement is really overrated. Stay. <laughs> okay, forgive me for that previous. I got a little emotional about him not being here, which is going to be sad. So I know I haven't known him for that long, but what I was trying to say is that when I go out here and walk the trails, how amazing they are, that I don't, that it looks like nature. The things that he's done, it looks like nature. And that's the genius of you, Mark, how you are, I mean, it's, you're not nature, but it's like your nature. And I really appreciate everything you've done here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'm gonna miss you. 
and I hope you have a great retirement. The other day, Mark and I were talking, and I was talking about how I was going to miss him not being here, and that I was going to be sad, and he said, um, you know what, I'm, pro I'm not sad now, but I probably will be, and I said, but you know the great part about your sadness is that it's going to be a good sad, because you have a physical um, representation of everything you've done here. You know, the landscape, the land, and how beautiful everything is, that it looks so natural that no one would know that it was human made or ranger made. Super ranger! That's what I think of when I think of you, Mark. Ranger supreme. And despite it being a gloomy fall day, when I think of you, I just think of pure sunshine. Right behind me is a small snippet of the garden that we have to attract butterflies. And one of my fondest memories of you at Tilden is in the butterfly garden. You and I just had a great time um, chatting and introducing visitors to butterflies and all the wonderful plants and I definitely remember those times fondly. The other um, memory that I have of you is that I'm reminded of every day because this sits right next to my desk is the number of times that we supported youth to really experience the outdoors and every time that we worked on a project together it was always super fun and I knew that I could trust you to be a, a bridge with the folks that we were working with. You're always so easy to get along with and I always knew I could count on you. Your follow through is amazing. So Ranger Mark, this is definitely not a goodbye. It's a hello because I'm really hoping that you and Debbie can come out to Sonoma County and visit us now that you're gonna have a lot of free time. I just heart you so much, Mark. Lots of love. Hey Mark, and anybody who's watching, um, it's James. Just wanted to say congratulations on your retirement, how exciting that is. Um, but also just wanted to say a few little things. Um, uh, there's tons of stories I could tell, but I just want to say how much I was honored to get a job as a naturalist with the Park District, but then also be able to work with you. Um, you know, I've known you probably since I was about eight years old uh, for a long time, and to score a job as a naturalist and then be able to work alongside you has just been one of the biggest honors in my career so far. And um, you're probably one of the main reasons why I wanted to become a supervisor, just so that I could support people like you. So thank you so much for you know everything that you've done, of course. But um, you know I, I really think that you are the nature area in so many ways. You are the creek. You are Jewel Lake. Um, even the farm. I, you know you predate Stanley in a lot of ways out there on the farm. And I think of you even when I go out there. So I just want to say thank you so much um, for everything that you've put into your job there, but also just the passion. Um, I think it's uh, contagious in a lot of ways when we think about how hard people work and our dedication to our jobs. You're the epitome of all those things. And, you know, every time that I feel like I'm rough, hit a hard spot or a rough spot, I try to think about how hard that you work. And, um, you know, I just want to try to stay at that level and, you know, replicate that. Um, you're a real big motivator, but also just an amazing role model in the sense. Um, when I think of you, I think of the nature area, but I think of the creek, you know, I think of just all the fun adventures that you and I had down there cleaning and pruning and just basically exploring. I remember when the first big rains would come, we would go down there and that's what we were doing. We were looking for obstructions, but also just exploring. And in a lot of ways, you're probably a junior ranger at heart. Maybe not we're officially part of the program, but you were definitely a junior ranger nonetheless. And I put you in that realm as well. Um, you know, I, in addition to that, I think your spirit is what a ranger is. Um, you know, you oftentimes had to work by yourself, but you found those resources that you needed to get jobs done. Um, whether it was working with us, uh, naturalists, or working with interpretive student aides, um, you knew what was going on and how to do it and get it done in a safe way. Um, we also had some exciting times too, and you know, I have photos of you and the tractor bucket chainsawing and all sorts of other goofy stuff but we won't share that tonight um, but I just wanted to say that I always wanted to work to your level and you 
in a lot of ways were a big supervisorial uh, inspiration. You know, I wanted to be that boss. Um, I wanted to be you in a lot of ways. So thank you so much for everything that you've given us and uh, given me in terms of my career. Um, lots of special places and special moments, but you know, when I think of the first rains and that smell that happens at the creek when you get a good flush um, of water coming down and that silty kind of mud loam, that definitely reminds me of you in a lot of ways. And I think about all the fun adventures you're gonna be having in the future. So congratulations, have a great time in retirement, and I hope to see you soon, bye. Great. Hi Mark, just here to wish you a happy retirement and uh, I'm glad that you're able to see that day and I know it's a joyful one for you. Um, I remember when you were in high school and you were talking about becoming uh, a ranger and um, you certainly have had a good run at Tilden. You've been able to uh, have a footprint there, basically do your own thing and make it better for the next generation and certainly raising your family there and having a daughter that it's imprinted her life as well. So congratulations on the next chapter. Hi Mark, Paula here to um, wish you a um, happy retirement um, from the state of California. I think that's wonderful that you're getting to retire from such an amazing job. Um, I can remember when in your early college days when you remember talking about becoming a park ranger somewhere, probably in the federal park, but ended up at the state level. And I think it gave you an opportunity to have a lot more autonomy um, than you would have maybe at the federal level. But anyways, you've had a great life there and raised your family and left, uh, left a legacy for your daughter. So I think that's wonderful and a footprint for others to follow. Um, what a great way to make your statement and, and leave something better than it was before, obviously. So have a happy retirement and I hope whatever you do and whatever you endeavor to do in the future is as, as successful as you've been to date and um, good luck, happy trails. Hey Mark, just wanna say congratulations on your 30 years with the Park District. I can hardly talk because my lips are frozen <laughs> because I'm standing in front of Mount Rushmore and it's c -c 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 cold. But anyway, uh, you, you have just done a remarkable job for East Bay Regional Park District and they've done a remarkable job for you, giving you the best career ever. Uh, you and Tilden were just made for each other and What it's meant to Aussie and our family is just uh, indescribable. And the contribution that you've made to the nature area, all the trails surrounding it, the EEC, Little Farm, every person that's walked through there, school groups, parents, kids, public, every, everyone, your coworkers, it's just incredible. Just incredible. And I just want to say congratulations, and I hope that your retirement is as fulfilling and joyful as your career at Tilden has been. All right, ciao. Hi, Mark. Uh, I wanted to congratulate you for your long and storied career there at Tilden. Uh, we have not been able to go to Tilden, but we know that uh, you have had a wonderful career there and mean so much to many families in the area. And we wanted to congratulate you on a job well done. And also uh, hope that you're looking forward to retirement and that uh, you will and Debbie will have a wonderful time in the years to come. We sure know that you've raised a wonderful daughter and we uh, look forward to having you as part of our family. Thank you. Here you are retiring after 32 years of dedicated service to East Bay Regional Park District. Little did they know when they hired you in 1986 what they were getting. Your dedication, commitment, and passion has shown throughout your career. 
it's safe to say you truly loved your job. I want to wish you congratulations in your retirement and best wishes in the future. Your brother, Clay. Uncle Mark, huge congrats on your retirement from Tilden Park. It's a, it's a major accomplishment and you, you deserve it more than anybody. Um, so with that, I kind of want to talk about two of my fondest memories from the park. And the first one being us working on my Eagle project uh, back when I was 17. And as great as that project was, I remember I could not have done it without your help. Um, we were kind of back up against a date to finish it and you really stepped in and kind of took control. And I really, that project never, never would have happened or been as successful uh, as it was without your help. So. Um, I could never thank you enough for your help on that project and I'm glad it came out as well as it did. But yeah, I really, I, it really made a huge difference when you stepped in and just kind of took control and, and really helped me out there. Um, that's the first memory and then my second memory is I, I remember is when I was a kid we would do a lot of geocaching and I remember doing a geocache location there at the park. And I remember we kind of went deep in the park and went off trail a little bit but it was just an overall really, really fun experience. And um, I'm sure thousands of other people have had great experiences like that there. So um, it all wouldn't be possible without you. And again, congrats.